Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to be looking at sales tax, all right, or value added tax. And sales tax is basically the amount that they charge you extra on the item uh, when you go and cash the item at the cashier, okay? So it says a sales tax is a consumption tax imposed by the government on the sale of goods and services, okay? So usually it's the government that puts in this this um, tax, okay? Because the government has to get paid, right? Um, we we'll kind of have to find ways to pool together as a society so that we can make life easier on ourselves, right? So unfortunately, we have to pay sales tax in Jamaica, okay? So in JA, we do actually use sales tax, all right, guys? And in Jamaica, the sales taxes are 16.5%. The JLP and the PNP must get paid. All right. The government have to get paid. You can't avoid it. Please don't try to avoid taxes. I would advise that everybody pay their taxes. Okay. Roads have to be fixed and you need a collective effort to build a society. Now, in the United States, sales taxes vary from state to state. All taxes have income taxes, right? So everybody has to pay tax on their income. Just like in Jamaica, in Jamaica, you have to pay taxes on your income and then you pay sales taxes again, right? That's just how the thing works. You get taxed through your teeth, all right? <laughs> Seriously, you really do in real life, you know? Um, <laughs> so you can't avoid it. Please don't try to avoid it. And it says, but not all states have sales taxes, right? The IRS needs to be paid um, so you need to pay your income taxes to the IRS if you're in the US and you need to pay your sales taxes in Jamaica okay and you need to pay your income tax in Jamaica too now this says the IRS needs to be paid ask Wesley Snipes and I use Wesley Snipes as the example because he tried to avoid tax and got locked up for it okay he went to jail all right, so you don't want to go to jail because you're not paying your taxes. All right, this is not a good look. Okay, so don't try, don't try too much to avoid it. You know, most most honest people just pay the tax because they just want to avoid the government stress. And you know, it's okay to pay taxes. Everyone should pay taxes because everyone has to. Um, have a effort towards building the society unfortunately our government um at this moment is you know robbing every dollar they can get but the reality is you need to pay taxes because we can't do it alone you know if you were to try to get electricity and water on your own that would be not possible bro okay that would be not possible you would need the government's help to get water to where you are. That's why we have the National Water Commission. And that's why we have JPS because, you know, these were heavily assisted by the government in order to be established um, so that they can help us to get clean water or, or electricity. So you can't really avoid taxes and taxes are cool. Just work with them and pay them, you know. All right, so let's move on now. Let's do an example of this, okay, guys? All right, guys, so we're back in it, and we're back in it, guys, and we're going to look at this example here, and this is the first example, okay? And it says, in Price Mart, you saw a lawnmower selling for 25000 Jamaican dollars, and because your front yard is incredibly bushy, you decide to make the purchase and taxes in Jamaica are 16.5%, right? General consum consumption tax, GCT, right? That's another word for it. General consumption tax is 16.5%. So the first thing it says is calculate the taxes, okay? Um, so the first thing we're going to have to do is uh, multiply the sales price, right? The sales price by uh, the percentage for the taxes okay so this is gonna be equal to 25,000 
multiplied by 16.5 16.5 over 100 cool so all we have to do now is just take out these zeros these zeros cancel these zeros then we have 16.5 multiplied by 250 okay so let's just do that right here because that's a that should be a breeze for us right now 16.5 uh, let's put a point here and a zero here. Five times zero would give us zero. Five times zero would give us zero again. Five times five would give us 25. Five times two would give us 10, plus two would give us 12. Cool. Now for this six, we should put a zero here. Six times zero would give us zero. Six times zero would give us zero here. Six times five would give us 30. So that's three, zero. 6 times 2 would give us 12, plus 3 would give us 15. Then for the 1, we should put two zeros as placeholders. Then 1 times 0 would give us 0. 1 times 0 would give us 0. 1 times 5 would be 5. And 1 times 2 would be 2. Cool. So we're going to add all of these now. And we're going to get 0, 0, 5, 2, 11 right which is 1 1 and then 2 plus 1 plus 1 would give us 4 and we should have two decimal places because we have two decimal places here in the question and we get this so the answer is so the answer for the taxes the taxes are equal to 4125 cool all right so they ask you also for the for the final price cool so the final price would be the selling price plus the taxes all right so this should be equal to 25000 right plus the taxes which is 4125 right and we're gonna add the five to zero, which you're gonna get five here. Two plus zero would give you two. One plus zero would give you one. Four plus five would give you nine. And you get a two here, so that's 29,125, cool. All right, nice. So we found the, the taxes for the item, right? Cool, so let's look at another example, or let's try to look at a real life example. Um, but I'm going to give you one more normal example first, and then we're going to look at a real-life example. All right, guys? All right, guys. So we're back in it, and we're looking at a second example here. All right? And for the second example, it says, Mother's Day is coming up within the next two weeks, so you decide to buy something nice for your mom. Right? That's good. And you see a wonderful vase on Amazon, and your mom really likes flowers. Right? So you buy the item for 20 US, but sales taxes in the state it is purchased are 8%. So you're asked here to calculate the taxes and to calculate the final price, okay? So let's just do that, all right? So the taxes, the taxes are gonna be equal to 20 multiplied by the 8%, which is 8 over 100, right? This 0 can cancel this 0. This 2 can go into this 10 five times. So you're going to get 8 divided by 5. Cool. So let's just divide 8 by 5. And 5 can go into 8 one time, right? And that 5 minus the 8 gives us 3. 5 can't go into 3, right? Uh, so we're going to have to put a point. And 5 into 3, we're going to carry down a 0, right? Because 5 can't go into 3, so that's why we put the decimal point. And we carry down a 0 and add a 0 here. 5 can go into 30, cool. So 5 into 30 gives us 6, right? And we end up with 1.6 as the amount. So the taxes are equal to 1.6, okay? $1.6. So this is how much you would pay additionally 
um, to the twenty dollars. So the final price, which is I'm gonna put that over here, the final price is actually equal to the selling price SP plus the taxes. Okay. So this is going to be equal to twenty dollars plus the one point six dollars, which is equal to twenty one point six dollars. Okay. Okay. So it's a very it's a very easy concept, you know. Um, depending on where you are, you're going to pay a sales tax, and you may not, depending which state you're in the in, you may not, depending which state you are in in the United States, but in Jamaica, you're going to pay that 16.5% pretty often. The only time you're not going to pay sales taxes is when you're buying from a Higla. You know, you're buying from a hustler on the street. And that's pretty much the only time you're not going to pay sales taxes. Okay. All right. So let's move on to a real life example. All right, guys. Hey, guys. What's up? So we're back here on Amazon because we're going to look on a real life example now. All right, guys, so let's look at this item, okay? Um, we're looking at, this seems to be Beats by Dre, right? Uh, it's looking really good. I'm sure most guys would enjoy headphones like these. I don't think they're the best quality, though. I don't think they're, like, the same quality as they used to be, uh, which is why it has four stars. But not bad. You know, not too bad. I like the colors, though. This gold is looking really fresh. Wow, this Mickey Mouse balling, you know. Uh, but Mickey Mouse kind of weird still. That would be for like a kid. But, yo, these colors kind of shot though. You know, this looking good. You know, red is, red is my favorite color. But let's let's go with the, the rose gold look. I really like that look still. That like, this 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 look official. You know what I mean? All right, so let's, let's add that to the cart. All right, let's add that to the cart now, guys. Okay. And let's see what's up. Uh, hmm. How come I can't add it to the cart? Add to list. It seems like it's not available. Okay, so let's just go with the black then. Because the pretty rose gold is not available. And we're going to stick with the black. Then we're going to go to the cart. Okay. And in the cart are the liquor dress thing. Let's, let's delete the liquor dress. And just the beats, all right. Just the beats by Dre, the headphones, and let's proceed. And you notice there's eleven dollars and twenty cents tax, right? I really don't know how much that is. Let's check to see how much it is, though. Um, let's use our calculators, all right? And all we have to do is divide eleven point two zero by the one fifty nine. Right, 159.99. So the taxes are actually 7%. Cool. So whatever state this is in, they have a 7% tax in that state, whatever it's wherever it's been delivered from. So you have to pay that 7% tax in order to order the beats. Excellent example. And let's do let's just let's just do the example. Let's say let's say the price wasn't 159, let's say it was 160, right? So let's say you're gonna multiply the 160, which is the selling price, by the the seven percent tax, which is in that state, to find um, the taxes. So this would be zero. These zeros cancel. Um, two can go into 16 eight times, and two can go into 10 five times, right? Uh, hmm. So. Yeah, so you end up with 8 times 7 is 56, divided by 5. Cool. So if you divide 56 by 5, what do you get? Let's put that in our calculator. Let's do it the short way this time, guys. You can use your calculator. You don't always have to divide everything in consumer arithmetic. And we get 11.2, right? Which is exactly what we were supposed to get, right? Which is this here. So it's 11.2, and that's what we expected to get. That's the taxes in that state, the 7%. So 
so great and that's the order total this is what we would get if we add the one six the 159.9 to it so i'm just trying to show you that these things come up so often like you can't even avoid these um these topics a lot of people say hey i'm not gonna use mathematics you know math is math is not gonna be used but yeah it's really gonna be used and remember you know guys in the blind man world the one eye guy is king all right so if you know how the numbers work you can use it to your advantage all right guys so this is important to know and i'll see you in the next lecture all right guys all right guys so that's it and I'll see you in the next lecture and remember to do your best and God will do the rest.